Hello again, everybody. It's me, Marcus, and I review stuff. Today I'm reviewing the song Sawed Off Shotgun SOS by The Glorious Sons. You know, it's been a while since I've gotten back to The Glorious Sons. I remember hearing um, Panic Attack, I believe it was, from them, which I liked and it's still on my playlist. But I think I don't recall if I've heard much more from them. So it's been a while since I've listened to them for sure. Um, but from what I remember, pretty competent band so i'm interested to see what they have here with sawed off shotgun um this comes as a request from a while back so just like they did if you would like to request a song for me to listen to all you have to do is leave a comment down below and i'll get to it at some point so without further conversation let's go ahead and get into it this is sawed off shotgun by the glorious sons here we go Take these pills. I'm sick of being okay against my will. I'm losing it. That was enjoyable. I really like that one. Wow. Uh, <laughs> man, it's a shame that it's taken me so long to get back to the Glorious Sons, because that was very enjoyable. I really liked that. Uh, you know, <laughs> the, I couldn't help but thinking of this story as I was listening to the song um, from many, many years ago. Um, you know, my, my last girlfriend before my, my current partner, she, <laughs> I remember sitting in the car with her, her sister, I might have told this story before, uh, and her mom, and I, the song uh, Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People came on, and they all just started yammering on about, like, oh man, this song, it's actually really dark, like, if you listen to the lyrics, like, oh my god, I know, I didn't listen to the lyrics at first, I just thought it was a fun, happy song, and blah blah, and I was like, 
Jesus Christ, I hate all of you. Um, no wonder this relationship was doomed to fail. Uh, <laughs> you you have to listen to lyrics. You have to you know. I, I'm very much a lyric person. Uh, I, I, there's to me, there's no excuse. Like if there's a dark song out there, even if it's wrapped up in a nice bow. Uh, you have to realize. You have to like really listen to the lyrics. You know, so I, I, I'm not, uh, and I even said as much on my on my Twitter recently, that man, I just I'm a lyric person. I can't uh, listen to music without stopping and thinking about the lyrics. And it amazes me that there are people out there who just blindly listen to music with no intention of like trying to understand the lyrical content. Now I say all that because much like Pumped Up Kicks, I feel like this song is presented in a very fun, upbeat way. But if you actually listen to the lyrics and think about them for two seconds, it's a very dark song. Um, but I really like that about it. I think it, it was just uh, the way it was presented and the message it had and everything kind of just worked really well together to just make a very uh, enjoyable song. Uh, so, like I said, that relationship was doomed to fail. She, uh, I was just, I was awestruck. I mean, what, what, when was this? Back in like, what, 2011, 2012? Something like that. I was just like, damn. Uh, <laughs> who the fuck doesn't listen to lyrics? Come on, y'all. Um, like, the, the, the very first time I ever heard Pumped Up Kicks, I was like, yo, this song is dark. <laughs> uh, but... That's neither here nor there. Anyway, uh, let's talk about those lyrics because I, I want to um, really just talk about... Uh, I, I did enjoy the lyrical content. I want to kind of talk about why. So, Mother, I don't want to take my medicine. 24 years in the gutter again. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. So this is a person who is very much struggling with depression. And uh, maybe they're talking to their mom on their phone, on the phone, just saying, like, you know, I'm not taking my, my medicine like most likely my antidepressants um you know i'm 24 24 years old this person's an adult they're kind of on their own maybe but they're in the gutter they're losing it you know everybody's acting like they're all all right i can barely get myself to sleep at night i'm sick of it yeah i'm sick of it you know i've been there before as someone who has struggled with anxiety and even um been on antidepressants before I, like i get it sometimes you're like why am i the only one kind of going through this uh you know why does everyone else seem pretty normal and i feel like that's kind of what this very you know very short verse here but I, I think that's what it's saying is that like everybody else seems like they're all right but for some reason i can't sleep at night i'm and i'm sick of it and, and i think that's a very easy feeling to get like why am i the only one depressed and i want to just assure all of you and even past myself like you're not the only person struggling with it you know there, there are plenty of other people out there who go through the same struggle every day and that's not to that's not to downplay anybody's struggle but it, just to kind of say hey you know we're all kind of uh, not all of us but many of us are kind of going through the same things i would say that, that sort of unity of all being down kind of is more uh, prevalent right now during all of this coronavirus stuff happening that I, I feel like all of us are kind of you know down on our luck right now more or less you know so um, it's not just you. That's, that's what I'm trying to say here. So then we get into the chorus. Yeah, they sent the tax man. I lost my job and you got hooked on oxycodone. Uh, so tax man coming to collect, right? And then, but on top of that, they lost their job. Uh, now it says, instead of saying I got hooked, it says you, he says you got hooked. So I wonder if maybe their partner, uh, that they're living with, their friend, roommate, whoever, like they're saying that that person is hooked on drugs now. Or maybe it's still talking about the uh, subject of the story. Um, they shut the lights off, so couldn't pay the light bill. Uh, they took the car, couldn't pay the car note. And I bought a sawed-off shotgun. And so that, that part is like, whoa, because my instinctual reaction is like, oh, they're going to kill themselves. <laughs> they're going to use that shot, uh, sawed-off shotgun to kill themselves. Holy shit. So again, but this part is sung so just like upbeat and, and like there's a there's a chorus behind it and there's like all these very happy sounding, upbeat sounding instruments that you're just like, what? Uh, hold up. So um, yeah, they sent a tax man, I lost my job and you got hooked on oxycodone. Uh, they shut the lights off, they took the car and I bought a sawed off shotgun. I'd rather be crazy than to take these pills. I'm sick of being okay against my will. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. See, I, I've been there before too, where like I feel like uh, my anti-anxiety medication was actually giving me more anxiety, and I was like, you know, you know what? I'm just gonna find an alternative here. Um, although they did help me in grad school, I will say that that really helped me get through there. Um, anyway, <laughs> neither here nor there. Like I said, um, 
and a thing in this world that I'm going to miss. It's all fake smiles and leather jackets. We're full of it. Yeah, we're full of shit. So this person is very, um, I guess, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Disillusioned with the world. Um, you know, they feel like there's a lot of fakery going on. You know, people are fake smiles. The, the leather jackets to look cool when really, you know, it's 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 just, I think they're, they're opening their eyes to just the vapidness of the world. Um, I don't know who to trust. Yeah, they sent the tax man. I lost my job and you got hooked on oxycodone. They shut the lights off. They took the car and I bought a sawed off shotgun. They repeat that part. Um, I'm losing it. I bought a sawed off shotgun. I'm losing it. I bought a sawed off shotgun. I don't know who to trust. Maybe people like us. So saying like, you know, if I'm going to trust somebody, not it's not going to be the fake people. It's going to be people who are kind of going through the same thing as me. So then they repeat the chorus. Yeah, they send the tax man, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then they just, they, I think they end with that. So it's interesting that they, they basically, in the lyrics, they walk you right up to the point of suicide, but they don't really give us a... a um, a clear way one way or the other what what happens to her, the i guess the protagonist of our story here but yeah you know again i i really appreciated the lyrical content especially in the context of like the happy upbeat sounding part of the song and so i, I don't know i think that's i don't know if that's a i wouldn't say it's a normal a recent trend because I, I know artists have been doing this for a long time where they where they package very depressing lyrics into a you know a, a catchy upbeat song uh and, and so I, I think fortunately it hasn't been overdone yet and so I think it, the, the novelty of it's still pretty pretty nice I, you know for me at least maybe I don't just listen to a lot of music like that so for me I think lyrically I'd give it two thumbs up I really like what they did here they kind of um, they, they, were, they managed to make a catchy song about something super depressing and super serious um, and then that leads me into the um, instrumentation the vocals the guy sounds great um, he has a certain sound that's just kind of good for rock. I, he just he sounds good for a rock song, you know. Um, I really like what they did with um, like that. I think there was like a drum pattern that kind of opened the song that I really liked. Um, there were some. I don't know if it was horns or if it were just made to sound like horns, but there was kind of a horn section in there that I kind of that I really appreciated. Um, as a fan of a little bit of ska here and there, I was like, okay, you know, not that this is very is ska by any means. But I was just like, okay, you know, I can appreciate some horns in my rock. I, I like that. Um, and then um, this, the guitar playing was competent. I, I don't quite remember too much of the guitar uh, off the top of my head, but I do remember that I just enjoyed listening to it overall. So, uh, again, I just think it was very interesting how they packaged this song as being a little bit more upbeat, and I think the instrumentation really played well with that. Uh, the, the guy's voice played well with the lyrics as well. You, um, again, really did a great job of selling that upbeat style with the depressing lyrics. Um, and so, yeah, really, really appreciated this one. Um, instrumentally and vocally i'm giving it two thumbs up for sure and then that leads me into replay value i think it's when you have a depressing song it can be very easy to say you know what that's not a song for all the time that's a song for just when i'm in the mood for it i feel like even though this song is on the depressing side the catchiness really gives it that kind of everyday replay value where i can listen to this song every day or so and i can still feel like it's fresh and and really enjoy it um so I think for replay value, this one also gets two thumbs up. I think it's very strong in that respect. So overall, really, really enjoyed this song. Thank you to whoever recommended it. I know there was it was a it was a suggestion suggestion. Wow, it was a suggestion from quite a while back. So sorry it took me so long to get to it, but I'm glad that I eventually did. Um, so anyway. That's it for the video. Enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the uh, request. If you enjoyed the music as much as I did, go check out the artists where you can. Go support them. Uh, one place you can find them is going to be on my Spotify playlist. It's got every single song I've listened to so far on my channel. Thanks for a pretty neat uh, listening there. And uh, if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube. Just like and subscribe, comment, all that, all that stuff. You, you know, this is not your first day here, most likely. <laughs> and if it is, welcome. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys are staying safe. Wash your hands. Stay home you know, stay safe. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.